In the Grade II William Hill Toten Novices chase at Wetherby, Trulane ran very wide, making things difficult for jockey David Bass. Colonel Harry narrowly defeated the thoroughbred after giving up a lot of ground. A well-supported horse almost ran off the track, leaving the punters cursing their bad luck. In the biggest test of his brief career thus far, Trelon was backed into the William Hill Toten Novices chase at Wetherby, finishing 13-8 but the four-time winner from six appearances proved to be a tricky ride for David Bass. While making the running, Trulane almost galloped off the course after failing to handle a bend at the West Yorkshire venue. Bass could have called it a day, however he kept the faith in his mount's ability and gave him plenty of encouragement from the saddle. Trulane appeared to be a diminishing force as Colonel Harry, the 5-4 favorite, loomed large up the straight. But once the market leader, trained by Jamie Snowden, took control, he bravely came back and lost by a length and a quarter. True Lane, from Kim Bailey's Gloucestershire stable, was thought to have lost 15 lengths due to his unconventional running style by one backer. Trelon the best horse in that race by a mile, they tweeted. Tough one to take, another said. Trelon lost that at Wetherby after going for a massive wander around. To say he's only lost by a length and a half he comes out of that better. Very difficult ride. A third person posted on social media, X, saying, Colonel Harry enters, with his favorite backers leading the way thus far. Trelon's inebriated antics must have given away a dozen lengths. David Bass informed the stewards after the race that Trulane hung right-handed on the turn past the stands. Bailey and the rider were disappointed with the outcome but Snowden gained another noteworthy victory thanks to his weighing room colleague Gavin Sheehan. Together with Dats All Right Gino, the two won the Coral Gold Cup in November. Sheehan completed a double that day and went on to add the Virgin Bet December Gold Cup and the Ladbrokes King George VI chase to his stellar seasonal record.